Hey guys, it's Mel. As you see by what I'm holding in my hand, this is going to be a different type of video. So if you're not into makeup or beauty products, I totally understand and feel free, you don't have to watch, obviously. And if you are, um, stay tuned for this video. So this video has been a highly requested video. I got a lot of private messages and I didn't realize that so many of you would be interested. I just feel like I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, because most of us are women, but um, some people, you know, you're not into that sort of thing, and I guess some people are. So anyway, I got a lot of private messages asking if I would share some, well, I had a lot of them actually asked to do um, some, like, eyeshadow tutorials, and as of yet, I don't know if I'll get into that, because I don't know how good I'd be on camera. It's hard enough doing, like, um, process videos for crafting, but I mean, I'd love to... I love anything makeup, as you guys know. I love MAC, and um, other than my, my nursing job, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, so I like anything like hair and makeup, whatever. Um, and I like to watch makeup videos, too. So I'm going to share some things, and we'll see where this goes. And I'm just going to label them. I'm not going to make another channel, although I thought about it, but I'm just going to put them on this channel, and then I'll just label them makeup. So then if anybody's watching who are um, crafters and you care nothing about makeup, that way you know, you know you don't have to bother watching that one. And we'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to answer some questions that I've gotten through messages. I do have one person that um, I do the gel nails, my sister and I, and this is the color that we have on. These are C&D, and I forget the, I think it's Lilac Longing, and um, the one of my ring finger is called Cake Pop, um, and that's shellac. So that's the gel nail, so that hopefully answers that question. Um, the next thing was I got, I must have mentioned this on one of my crafty videos, I did my first order and I did a couple, um, I, although I don't have that many, I did a couple orders when Sigma was having their 20% off sale because they usually only do 10%, you can usually only get those codes, but they had a 20% off sale and um, I wanted to try these makeup brushes, so I'll show you what I got. So it came in these packages and I had to do a couple individual orders because pay attention to this too, sometimes, and I don't know why because it doesn't make sense, like, I think they must do it by per brush. So if you order two brushes, it might be a certain price. And then if you order three brushes, it jumps up to, like, the priority. And I didn't want to pay. Like, one of them was, like, $8 for shipping. I'm not paying $8 for shipping on these little, like, skinny, this isn't one, but these little skinny brushes. So if you, what I had to do was if you, you're better off ordering them individually. So one time I thought of one later that I ordered and then I think it was only like $1.98 or $2 shipping. I guess it depends on where you are in the world too, of course. Um, so anyway, that's just a little tip there. So I got a couple brushes and I just want to, I only have, let's see, one, two, because this was expensive enough, one, two, three, four, I think five or six Sigma brushes. But these are just some main ones and this is what I was asked to do. Um, so the most important one that I got, and I just want to show you, because I also, um, I have a friend, um, she's a young friend, she is um, a friend of the family, but she is a teenager, and she's going to a new school, and her mother passed away when she was a bit younger, and she doesn't really have any, she only has her dad and her brothers, and she doesn't really have anybody to ask, so I do like little um, kind of mini tutorials for her to try to teach her things, so anyway, I put the tape I recommend you put in, I mean, you might not want to, but I put tape on the barrel only because after time when you're using these, like, I'm going to show you the one MAC one. Did I put it in here? Maybe I didn't. The one MAC one I have, I've had it for years, the 217, and it's completely wore off. Because just, I guess, over touching toe. Uh, to preserve that, when I first got them, I cleaned it, and I just put a little piece of clear tape on it. So that way, you know, and you can barely see that it's on there. So anyway, this is the Sigma... Um, F80 brush, and it's the Flat Kabuki. If you watch any beauty, beauty YouTube videos, this one is highly recommended, and you'll know why when you get it. Um, these, A lot of these I use today, so sorry they're a little bit dirty. they got the foundation on them. But anyway, this is called the Flat Top Kabuki, and first of all, this is so, so soft, and it puts on your um, foundation perfectly. Now, I had the one that was like the stipple brush from MAC, and although I love MAC, MAC's still my favorite, just that particular brush, I didn't care for it. Um, it's supposed to give you like an airbrush finish so it doesn't look like, you know, like the painter type brushes but um, that you painted on, but I didn't like the way it came out. And this just gives you more coverage, I think, more of a full coverage. And it's really soft and very, very dense. It's like packed, you know, packed in there. So 
My recommendation would be the F80. You know, you don't have to get them all. They have a bunch in a set. Then they had this one, too. This one isn't exactly recommended um, by me anyway. I like it, but it's not a needed. This is this video, I'm just you know showing ones that might be your staple, which I definitely would say is this one. So this one is Sigma F86 um, Tapered Kabuki, and it looks like this. And what this is, is this you can use, like some people show they use it under their eye here, and it's good to get near it, and I have a smaller version too, which is the Precision Tapered P86. This one I like for like concealing like these areas and then or some people even use it for the eyeshadow or under your eye concealer just because it's tapered and it can get, you know, see it to the point. So those are just some. These to me were, are like lug, like you don't need to have these. But what I actually use this one for is the contour. So I just swirl, you know, my 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 contour and I just kind of go right down like that and it kind of it gives you like the exact preciseness that you're looking for. But that one's just kind of, I would call that one a bonus one. But here's one that is, I would say, she had asked which ones would I recommend that would be needed for, um, oh, I did have, this is the MAC one I was showing you where it's worn out, telling you. See how it's worn out? And this was the MAC, I think it's 217, um, but it's pretty much wore out, but I've had it for years. And as you can see, it's dirty. But this one's um, a really good one, too. So for eyeshadow, what I use all the time, and this is one I'm really loving from Sigma, is um, the Tapered Blending E40. And you can see that. And it looks like this. And then just, it has something to do with, um, it's got just the right amount of bristles in it. And this one I wouldn't recommend for putting on the color. This one is great for blending. And I, yeah, taper, it's called Tapered Blending. But this one's perfect for blending. So when you have like a you don't want to have a harsh line. It just kind of softly roughs it up is how I would recommend, I mean how I would describe it. And it just kind of blends your um, colors beautifully, especially for beginner, beginners if you're not real good with the blending. Then I got this E47 Shader Crease Brush and it looks like this, just really skinny. And this one's perfect if you just want it in your inner um, in your inner crease and you want to pack the color in that way, just in that one spot. But it's nice and skinny so if you don't want a big bold um, thing of color. And this is the MAC 217, 217 that I already showed you that's worn off. But this one's good for, this is what I use to actually put on the color. This is what I use to blend it, the E40. And I just kind of go and blend it. And then this one is if you're doing more precise. Yeah, this is the performance line, whatever. Oh, there we go. And it's the shader crease, the E47. So this one you don't have to get, I would say, if you're a beginner. This is just that. But if you invest in two, I would get one that looks like this. It doesn't have to be these brands or one that looks like this. And this one I just happen to love, the E40, the tapered blending to, for blending. This is what I would say is a must. So that's just what I wanted to share there. But I love overall my, um, and the only other Sigma one I got was, I didn't show you this one yet, the eye shading E55. But the reason I didn't show you this yet, and it's a very nice brush. It's like, it's packed, um, uh, very dense, but this one is supposed to be for packing on color on the lid. But the reason I didn't show this is because you can go as far as this one goes. Some are not comparable. Like this one, I would get from Sigma just because you could get one. They're not as full, and that'll make a difference when you're trying to put it on. But this one to me was very comparable. This was a dollar at um, I think it was Dollar General, and it was what is the line that they have? Their li their line of brushes. They also have them a white handle. I have a couple of them. But it's really the same thing. Um, the handle is slightly longer for this one. But see, certain ones can be substituted, and then certain ones I would say can't, which would be this one and um, this one here, the, the E40. So those are the two from there. So anyway, sometimes they have sales. And then I wanted to share this. This is also an e.l.f. brush, and this was only a dollar. Certain ones you can go with the cheaper ones. But this one is really good for, I use it for, what I'm going to show you is um, lipstick, and also I use it for like your inner tear dot, like your inner corner here, if you want to put a little shimmer, and it's so nice and small. So it's actually called concealer brush, but I don't use it. I use it for everything but that. So I have a separate one for you know lipsticks, just because you can get really precise. You know, um, it only does a small area, but it works perfect. Or you know, right in here. So those are the kind of ones you don't have to get fancy on. So stay tuned. If you're into this video, stay tuned till the next one. I'm going to share my, um, I got an Inglot order in, and that is eyeshadow, um, if any of you haven't heard of it, and I will talk more about it then. So let me, let, let me know what you think, you guys. 
Um, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, maybe I'll throw in a few videos here and there, you know, on my channel. And if you're not, that's totally fine. I, I understand if you're not into it, just let me know. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.